Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be explaining how to get every single Invasion Scorpion palette that you can get so far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explain how to get each one. So the first thing you have to do is obviously have the Invasion Scorpion skin. This is going to get you the Nether Stone, which you need to get all of these skins. And also you need the original skin to actually get the palettes. So first of all, have the scorpion skin beat. Honestly, he's not that hard. If you do need help, I can make a tutorial video on how to beat him. But he's really not that hard once you have your stats maxed out. Once you have your stats maxed to like level 27 or 28, should be pretty easy to beat. Baraka so the first actual skin you will be able to get right after you beat the scorpion is actually going to be in the fire temple. There is a nether stone which in the video is already unlocked for me. Uh, depending on if you already went to it or not may or may not already be unlocked. But if you didn't unlock it you will be unlocking it right at that node. And you kind of just take your way all the way over to this chest. Once you get to this chest you will beat the bosses you have to beat if you haven't already. Open it up. You shouldn't have to use a key for it, and right in there is the first two skins you can unlock at the world that you beat the scorpion in. These ones are great. They look really good. One of my favorites is actually that one right there. Um, these ones look pretty freaking cool. So the second set of skins is going to be at the Fengjian village. You're going to go to the Netherstone location here, make your way down. You'll do the couple fights you have to do. And this specific fight is actually where you will be getting this skin or these two skins. You fight the scorpion twice and then you get a secret fight right after. Once you beat the scorpion twice and beat the secret fight right after that, you will get the skins as a reward. Pretty simple. This scorpion was easy. The secret fights are usually always easy. I don't think I've ever lost a secret fight. And I maybe only lost a handful of these fights if they were just that bad. But this scorpion was fairly easy. We will be together again. Brutality. Baraka. For this fight, I don't think the secret fight is actually guaranteed because in my playthrough I didn't get it, but I've seen other people that did end up getting a secret fight. So it's kind of hit or miss on the secret fight. This one, I believe, I only fought the scorpion, as you can see. You didn't have to do a brutality. I just kind of did it because it's fun to do. So the secret fight isn't guaranteed, but you definitely at least have to beat the scorpion and you get it right after. These are probably the best skins in the game. This is the skin I'm actually rocking the old gold. This one just gives me major injustice vibes, and I, I just, I love this skin. And the last set of skins that you can get in the invasion modes is at the Sun Dew Festival. This one's also fairly easy to get. This one, keep in mind, you will actually need a key for. It is in a chest and you will need one of the keys. So depending on which shop has the keys, have a key already in your inventory before even coming here. Because I made the mistake when I first came here and didn't have a key. Uh, luckily, I just went to one of the shops. I forgot which shop. Went to one of the shops. Bought one then unlocked it but make sure you do have a key so you don't waste your time coming here and having to come back again but yes once you have the key you do your fights through the nodes come over here open up the chest here's the last two that you can get in invasions also really really nice looking skins i love the red and gold or red and yellow on this specific one it looks really really cool
And there is actually one more palette that you can't get for this skin. Unfortunately for this specific palette, it is locked in Combat League. I have not gotten it yet, so I can't show this one off yet. I don't play a lot of online, so I have to force myself to do it. But that is how you get that last one. You just have to do Combat League. So if you're not a big Combat League player, you got to force yourself to do it. Luckily, it's only in the beginning three nodes, so it's really not that bad. But it is online, and Combat League is very difficult when you fight the right person. And with that being said, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If this helped you guys at all, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss any more Mortal Kombat videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.